chat place. Wagwan, 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 wa love. We are brother and sister from the blood, from the skin, the type of the skin. So, guys, it's just naturally that we love you all. We love you all, Jamaican. We love you all, Caribbean. We love you all, Jamaica. Jamaica. Let's talk about Jamaica today, guys. Those content creators, we thought that they have a lot of money. They are actually traveling to Caribbean. Watch me to the end because, yeah, we're going to give you the reason why this content creator, like Wadamaya, like Marwa, like Miss Trudy, like Dimongo, like African Tigress, like Coco Boy, Coco Girl, all these people are traveling to the Caribbean. What could be the reason, guys? Stay tuned to the end of the video and then we're going to, we're going to share what could be the main reason who's taking this YouTuber to the Caribbean. Watch. Stay tuned. Technician, entrepreneur, business people, traveler, Foku Media is your channel. Subscribe, like, and share. We all know that uh, Jamaica is actually a country located in the Caribbean, one of these islands. So it's located in the Caribbean. There we have a lot of African people who got the same blood, same, same color like me. They live there. It's our people. We, it's the same people actually they live in the caribbean so why why these celebrity people are going to the caribbean after marwa went to jamaica people like uh, wodemaya follow uh, the caribbean people like miss trudy follow the caribbean people like coco girl follow the caribbean people like dimwango follow the caribbean people like uh, coco boy follow the caribbean people like uh, coco girl follow the caribbean and they go they choose this particular country called Jamaica. They choose this particular country called Jamaica. So what could be the reason? Keep watching. Uh, this question could come to my mind or could come to your mind as well. Is it because of the love of the country that they travel to the Caribbean? Or is it because of what gonna go to their pocket? Is it because of their earning that they are traveling to the Caribbean, in particular to Jamaica? I'm asking myself if the Caribbean in particular, Jamaica is taking over African YouTuber because check this prominent YouTuber are there. They go there. What could be the reason, guys? And I know you follow these people like Wadamaya, like Marwa, like uh, Coco Girl, Coco Boy, African Tigress, Dimwango. You follow them. Please share the reason with me down below. Jamaica become their final destination. They will go to Jamaica. They will start saying Wagwan, Wagwan. They will start saying uh, Jabless, Jabless. One love, one love. Is it really one love that they are promoting? Is it really one love or Jabless? Or otherwise they just wanted to fill their pocket, guys. They want to lie to us. But I think filling their pocket could be one of the reasons why they are flowing to that place. Let's continue trying to analyze, trying to understand why our celebrity, our YouTuber are just going to Caribbean, and especially in Jamaica. The first reason why celebrity and YouTuber are going to a Caribbean could be this. We actually understand that Caribbean people don't stay in the one place. I may be wrong. But it seems like most of Caribbean people, most of Jamaicans stay out of Jamaica. Most of Caribbeans stay out of Caribbean. Most of Jamaica stay out of Jamaica. Those who left Jamaica for a long period of time, when these content creators go to their country, showcase the environment, explore the places which these Jamaican have actually left long time back, so they have that love of watching your content. The first reason could be that when this content creator go to the Caribbean, when they go to Jamaica, the fact that most of these Jamaican are living in America, for instance, they watch the video. They, they have that love of watching something talking about their country. And they watch a lot of video talking about Jamaica. We all know that the CPM, the CPM in America is very high. The CPM in the Caribbean, in particular in Jamaica, is more high than Africa. If you're a YouTuber in the Caribbean, if you're a YouTuber in the Jamaica, you're going to earn more in your revenue. So for the reason that you earn more, you will love to go there. You have more view because Jamaican like to watch 
anything happening in their country. They love their country. They are connected to their country. So just the fact that they want to watch your video, living in the country where the revenue is high, they watch your video. You as a content creator, you get a lot of view. You get a lot of view. You get a lot of subscriber, and you get a lot of view from the country who have a high CPM. And for that, your revenue will actually change. Marwar went there, he actually sees his revenue. That's why he advised the sister to go to, to the Caribbean. He, he, Marwar advised the sister to go and also eat the money. Dimwango went to the Caribbean, she went to Jamaica, and she doesn't want to leave Jamaica. She went to Jamaica, it's up to three months. She actually trying to get the, the resident permit. Uh, I, I believe she haven't get it yet because Coco Boy said that uh, to have a resident permit in Jamaica is not easy. You pay a lot of money and then it's not that easy. Dim Wango realized that, this, that she's making a lot of money in Jamaica. And now she decided to start suddenly love the country. She, suddenly, she, that is the best country she has never been. That is a country she, she would like to settle. You know, because of what? Because she's making money. What could say to Dim Wango that that is the best country? What? What reason else? If it's not money, if you check very well, when Dimwango was in the Caribbean, when Dimwango was in in Jamaica, uh, the brother was doing the opening house, was doing his opening house in Kenya. Uh, Marwa actually invite a lot of international visitors all over the world to come and do the opening uh, party uh, ceremony with him in Kenya, which lasts actually a month. During the whole month, Dim Wango didn't come back home because she was making a lot of money. Dim Wango was saying to us that one man rent in the in Jamaica cost three thousand dollars. Three thousand dollars in Europe, you must be an engineer to earn three thousand dollars. But Dim Wango can pay three thousand dollars just just to stay for a place for one man. That could actually indicate to you that there is a lot of money in Jamaica, guys. If you are a content creator, I think the best place to go at the moment, the best place to go at the moment and create content is Jamaica. I believe, and then I'm actually sure of that. If you are a YouTuber, and then you can go to a Caribbean at the moment and create content, you'll make it. Just from the reality I just explained to you now, you can see if you are in the Caribbean, if you're in Jamaica and you make vlogger content, your CPM will be high, your income will be high, your view will be high. Let me know your take on this. Let me know your take on this because my uh, the way I see is that if this prominent content creator found as a good destination, uh, the Caribbean, good destination in Jamaica, that means there's money. Help me understand this. When this content creator, they go to Europe, they don't even stay one week in one country. They don't even stay one week in one country. But this Dim Wango who went to Jamaica, that is the best country in the, that is the best country in the world. Why? Because the CPM, there's money there. If you're a content creator, go there and eat. I think I need to go there as well. There's money there. No one can lie to me. If Dim Wango can pay 3,000 rental, for a man, that means there's money there. Yes. If Wadamaya can just travel there and call the wife and say to the wife, hey, baby, come and meet me in Caribbean. Come and meet me here. There's a gold here. There's the money here. We all remember the story of the slave trade that our ancestor was taken from Africa to the Caribbean. So our ancestor was taken from Africa to Jamaica. That's why you see those black there just like you when you go there you, you you think you are in africa when you see a, a jamaican you think that is just an african till he said to you that i'm a jamaican till he said to you that uh, i speak patois till, till you start hearing the accent that way you can start asking question what kind of african you are so, you know our ancestor was taken from africa to caribbean the, our ancestor was taken against, yeah, that is the point. Our ancestor was taken against their will from Africa to Caribbean. They shipped them that over Caribbean country, like in Jamaica. So uh, Jamaican people is only 
our sisters and brothers. If you just remember the history of uh, slave trade, Jamaican people, we are brother and sister. Japless, wagwan, 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 wa love. We are brother and sister from the blood, from the skin, the type of the skin. So, guys, it's just naturally that we love you all. We love you all, Jamaican. We love you all, Caribbean. We love you all, Jamaican. Me particularly, I love you guys. So another reason could be uh, that it could be that Jamaica is the best tourist destination because most of people who go there. They will tell you about tell you about good hospitality, maybe from the history, from the history and from the way these people are kind and from the behavior of Jamaican throughout foreigner. Foreigner notice that they always receive a warm welcome. That could be another reason that make Jamaica to be a tourist destination, to be a good tourist destination. We talk about hospitality. We also notice in Jamaica they are good hospitality to foreigners. We can see we can see the way uh, content creators are uh, explaining. They will, they will show you, they will show you, and then you can actually notice a good hospitality from Jamaican. Jamaican, I love you. also guy. see the similarity among the food in Jamaica. There's a food in Jamaica you find in Africa, the same food. Maybe just the way they cook will, will become a little bit different. In the Caribbean, most of the Caribbean country got African food because these people was coming from Africa. So when they arrive in the Caribbean, they're trying to eat the same food which they were eating in, in Africa. That's why you find a lot of similarity uh, among the food in the Caribbean. And you also find that on the street, they're going to sell food. Just like they sell in Africa, you got a street food. And you, obviously, if you are from Africa, you are from Ghana, you are from Kenya, you are from Nigeria, you are from Cameroon, you will find yourself among your brother and sister. Because the same food you eat home, you find it in the Caribbean, you find it in, ja in Jamaica. The same food you eat home, you find it in the street. And with people with the same color. So actually, it makes you feel at home. We're going to see exactly that there's a good woman. The type of woman you find in Africa, you find it in the Caribbean. The type of woman you find in Africa, you find it in Jamaica, guys. You Actually, you see the type, the, the, you know, the shape of the woman you like. In Africa, you find the same shape in the Caribbean. The same shape of the woman you find in Africa, you find it in Jamaica, just because it's the same people. We all know that Bob Marley is originated from Jamaica. Bob Marley stands from the right of women being. Bob Marley actually have a spiritual music. And this thing has been connected with all Africa. The song of Bob Marley is actually connected with Africa. When you listen to Bob Marley music, which is originated from Jamaica, you, you feel that it's an African who's singing. Because he's actually claiming the right of black men. Bob Marley is a legend. So going to Jamaica, uh, it's like an African connect himself with his brother in Jamaica. So Jamaica, we are one. We are one. We are one. Wagwan. Wagwan, guys. We are one. Reggae music is originated from Jamaica. Reggae music is another particularity which you can identify a, a Rastafarian. Rastafaria is actually a model from Jamaica. Uh, we find in Africa a lot of Rastafarian. We find a lot of Rastafarian here in South Africa. We find a lot of Rasta men in South Africa who actually follow the legend of Bob Marley. They sing the music, they can tell you about Jamaica, and then they have never been in Jamaica. They can tell you about Rastafarian, without being in Jamaica. So you can see that Jamaican know how to sell their country. Jamaican know how to showcase their country. That's why it's in the map. And that's why it's gonna attract a lot of tourists. It can attract a lot of celebrity. That's why it can attract a lot of uh, content creator. Guys, what is your take of the reason who could take celebrity and YouTuber to go to Jamaica? Give me a comment below. I'll see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. My name is Alphonse Foucault from Johannesburg. Straight from Johannesburg. Subscribe if you haven't done it. Goodbye.